All right, what's up, everybody? We're doing this again. <clears throat> Our favorite thing to do is walk around the cons before they open. As an as an official exhibitor, that's what I like to do. That's a, a immense privilege that I have is to be able to walk around these cons before anyone's in the hall and just soak it in, see what's here. We're at PAX East in Boston. Just taking a look around, getting a sense of what's going on here. There's the arena. They're gonna be gaming there a little later. Um, I'm probably gonna be stuck at the booth. I'm probably not gonna be seeing any competitions today. Here's everybody waiting. All these people waiting to get in. They're looking a little rabid. We're gonna walk away from that. Oh, I'm seeing uh, I'm seeing one of our sweatshirts over there. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna call them out, but I do see some of our our goods. Always love to see that. I'm always very flattered. It's, it's not um, wasted on me. Um, I, I heard from a lot of people that went and saw. Oh, this looks cool. Game of the year, right there. I was hearing a lot of people when they went to go see um, End of Evangelion in the theater, they saw a lot. I I kept seeing people say how much Mega 64 merch they saw in the theater. That meant so much to me. Oh my God. I was like, you know, that's something, <laughs> that's my one of my favorite shows, maybe my favorite show, you know, ever. And uh, to see that inexorably linked to it was amazing kind of amazing you know what i mean okay oh all right enough about evangelion we got to talk about something way more deep we just hit the potato shreds booth we just yeah yeah That's amazing. I gotta get I gotta get something like that at home. That's incredible. Wow. What's that? I do? Or no oh yeah. No, I it's gotta look I like the pillows simulating butter. Like that's just that's a thing of beauty. I gotta that's amazing. I will definitely be back. Oh my god, all the what are those microwaves back there? This is incredible. This is the this is the greatest booth I've ever seen. This is Okay, 10 minutes. I'm going to be back, get all those microwaves warmed up, and use them all. That's incredible. All right. Dude, you got that. You got Def Jam Vendetta. This is the greatest packs yet. GameCubes. N64. Hey, uh, leave a comment if you, if you remember N64. You got nerds. I thought that stood for no one ever really dies, but apparently I'm wrong. Some jackets over there. Okay, we're gonna kind of. This is kind of opening in a minute, I think. So we're gonna cut right to the heart. Oh, Marcap. Got, you always gotta show support for Marcap. Um. That's cool. I think I have this shirt. We're gonna head over to this side of the convention hall, the front side, because towards the front is Mega 64. So we're heading there. That's right, it's Mega 64, Nintendo, Mountain Dew, all the best companies right up front. So, gotta, you know, this looks cool. Run out. Oh, I thought this booth said frag dolls. I was I was having a throwback to Ubisoft 2007. 
You, I feel, you haven't seen Ubisoft at this con in a while. I remember they were very big pack supporters in the early days. So I wonder what happened there. They're, they're not, you know, they're not here. Maybe they are, and I didn't see it. Um, let's keep looking here. Freedom. And they're playing, playing games with freedom over there. Okay, so this is more getting towards the center of the operation here. Ever After Falls. There's New Blood. They got some gangster stuff going on here. I think you nailed that. You nailed that shot. I was watching. I think you got it. I think you mastered it. Got a master right there. He's, that guy's the next Roger Roger Deacons at the New Blood booth. Deacons two point better, better Deacons. All right. Damn, Behemoth is killing it this year. Our friends of the Behemoth. Yo, I'm recording a video. I'm just showing off all the booths, but this is looking great. Just wanted to say, we're back. You're we're back. back. Yeah, you're back. You we're get, back. And you came, you came here big, Crazy. so yeah, it's looking good. It's looking very good. I'm liking this pat. I like this. Uh, this looks very cool. I like the pattern. You know, that's my favorite part so far. Thank you. This is awesome. I'll be back around. Yeah. See ya. This is very cool. Wow, they got the Battle Block Theater photo op right there. I like that. They always got the arcade machines that look good. Oh, this is what I wanted to see. So you got a grasshopper right here. This is so cool. This is a booth I most, but I most, sorry, I can't speak. I most wanted to see because I'm, I'm really excited for the Shadows of the Damned remaster. I really like that game. That was a game I always thought was really overrated. Overrated, I meant underrated. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, I woke up very early today. A game that I always thought was very underrated was Shadows of the Damned. And I'm so glad it's getting a second life. Wow. That's so cool. They have like a bar set up here. That's really awesome. Um, I played the game and I loved it, but what's funny is it's actually the soundtrack is kind of maybe even my favorite part of the game because it's by um, Akira Yamaoka. And I remember I was up late one night working on something and then I saw Grasshopper announced like, oh, we have the soundtrack on sale now. And like the first however many copies are signed by them. And uh, just on a lark, I ordered it and I got a signed one. And I feel like such a poser because I've still, I've never played Silent Hill. They're, like I know people who are way more deserving of having that soundtrack, but I, I don't know. I still, after all these years, I still listen to that while I work. Um, that soundtrack is really, really good. I'm, I'm really stoked this game is back. So anyway, the, the, the like bar setup is really cool. So anyway, I'm gonna have to come back here and check this out. That's dope. What else do they have around here? Rusty Rabbit. Okay. What is this? <laughs> this looks like that, that portal on uh, the dude's ship in uh, Doom Eternal where he has to walk through to find the Hell Priest. I don't know. 
it's supposed to be. Laying out, they're laying out. I always see this, this video games New York booth. I always see they put out some rare stuff. They got all kinds of it. I think this is the, I think that's the booth I picked up uh, when I couldn't find a copy of Dead or Alive Extreme 3 for PS4. I think that's where I got it. So they really hooked me up in a time of need. Wishes. Wishes. This booth is so nice. This booth looks so nice. I love this. The whole design of it. This is the this is the best booth I've seen so far. There are like way bigger ones, but this is the coolest in, aesthetically. I gotta say, and I, I'm digging this look too. That's really cool. But I love like the the game station has the chair. Sorry, I just this all caught me. I was very overwhelmed when I walked by. This is cool. I'm gonna have to come by come by and play. What is the romancing Jan? Okay. I'm going to have to come back. I, I'm loving this setup too much. This is great. All right, have a good show. Thank you. Way better than this booth. Yeah. Come on, what's going on here? They don't, they're not, why don't they just give you the space? What's going on here? This is ridiculous. Or they could split it or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it would have to be something. Fisher call it. Oh, I'm not going to school. No. All right. No, no offense to them. I'm sure they're a great booth. But. Okay. Oh, Atari. That's cool. Very cool. Little Lands. All right. Nintendo was just added to the booth map or the exhibitor map very last minute. So looks like it's like a big, big Pokemon thing. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Final Fantasy 14, you know, some of you MMO heads, you digging that? Pax has got a lot of really good merch this year, their own exclusive merch. Um, they, I don't think they were expecting to have this, but they have a PAX retrospective book because it's the 20th anniversary of PAX um, and uh, it's a big coffee table book full of stuff about the show and we have a big spread in there it's really cool you have to check it out I think it's on their website now but uh, there's a big spread about Mega 64 in there because we we were at like the some of the first PAX shows so uh, we weren't we weren't at the very first PAXs, but we were at the first ones when it became what it was in the current, like, you know, convention center in Seattle and stuff like that. I think it was 2007 was our first one. And so that's all in there. Whoa. Dude, that's legit. Dude, that was... I don't, I don't know if I like that. I got another one over there. <laughs> that was that was that was baller. That was that was the most pimp thing I've seen in this whole Okay, um fake, fake campfire kinda of, kinda of reminds me of a certain podcast set. Um, here it is, guys. Mountain Dew. So if you want to do the Dew, if you're up for that, if you want to, you're up, there it is. That's where you do it. And you could get gaming rewards. So you drink enough Mountain Dew, you get all the rewards, basically. You're a better gamer. Oh, they just let people in. Oh. See Dune over there? 
Oh, dude, dude, here comes, dude. We're heading straight. We're going. We're going upstream. We're heading upstream right now against the tide. Oh, oh man. Okay, I think it's safe to say they're all rushing to the Mega 64 booth. So I better head back there. Oh, Duncan, Duncan. Safe to go? Okay. Oh, terrible shirt. Oh, awful. Awful shirt. Wow. All right, Duncan, they're doing their thing. I think you could get a free hat if you play something. So I might have to get on that later. I'm going around the wrong side. I'm missing. I'm missing all the Duncan stuff. I was hoping like Ben Affleck would show up or something. I don't know. No. I can't. I can't get involved in that right now. I gotta go to the best booth at the con because I'm sure everyone's crowding it right now. We're hitting at the front of the hall, up front. The Mega 64 booth. We're gonna hit it. Game sent. Whoa, dude, this looks badass. Okay, we gotta come back to that. We gotta smell the smells. Dude, garbage pail kids, Mad Mike, quest for the stale gum. This is badass. All right, let's go. We're heading. We're heading. I hope I can get through the crowd into my own booth. <laughs> oh, this is uh, real quick. This is um, mo whoa, most dangerous games. That that's like the best name of a company I've Thank seen you. so far. <laughs> oh my god, that just says it right there. Yeah, you ready? We got the most dangerous games. There it is, Capitalism Craft. Hey, there it is. Enough said. That's definitely a dangerous game. <laughs> well, I'm gonna stop by later. Yeah, I gotta please. check this out. All right, Animal Well. Yo, shout out to our friends, Donkey, Leah. Shout out. This booth, this, this is one of the best booths. This, it's this, this, Duncan, Mountain Dew. The three booths you gotta check out. Other than Mega 64, obviously. <laughs> but no, but this is great. This is really cool. How's everything going? It's going good. Yeah? Yeah, we just uh, had a big bowl of oatmeal. Yeah. Ready to, ready to take on the day. Awesome, yeah. Well, it's all looking good. I, I gotta come back and I like you got it on the Steam Deck. That's cool. Yeah. I gotta come by and play this. This is looking awesome. You guys are authorized Penny Arcade dealer too, so that's another plus. All right, well, good luck today. Have fun. We'll see you around. Yeah. That's a great booth. Love those guys. Love everyone there. Donkey, Leah, wish you were here this year. We miss you. Um, but they're killing it at the booth, so you got nothing to worry about there. I'm going to show everybody a therapeutic list of video games here for anxiety relief. Everyone at home, you could pause this on depending on what you need. There, if you're feeling a little anxiety, play Chicory. Anyway. This is, uh, whoops, sorry. This is uh, Child's Play, obviously. Always really like them. What's up? How's it going? Always been a big supporter of them, but, you know, they're a great charity. We're definitely not doing charity on that level at our booth. It's all about that dollar, the almighty dollar. Where's the crowd? What's going on? What did you say? I literally... Someone was, here, someone was here, yeah. and I said, like, I, they're excited to see us. Like, yeah. I've, I've watched you forever, and now I'm looking at you. It's weird. Yeah. Like, Rock was filming our video right there, right now. He's like, I'll be right back. He's like, I don't even want to be part of this video. He was like, fuck Oh, you. really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we had a crowd, and then you came, you, and everybody so went around. Where's the crowd? Wow. It was you. Nope. Yes! You wow. <laughs> Whoa, you got the whole outfit? Yeah. Dude. What is this? What's in the box? <laughs> Guys. Hey, everyone at home, if you're a film nut, leave a comment. What was that from? Oh. What the? What is it? Billionaire shortbread. What Dang. the? 
That ain't fudge. That Dude. Ain't fudge. <laughs> chocolate shortbread, salted caramel, and caramelized white chocolate. Whoa. Dark chocolate swirls and uh, pie crumble. Oh, Yo, that dude, dude, that looks awesome. You made this or I did? You, no way. Yeah. Wow. That's dope. Are you a baker? Are you a baker? Nice. Really? Yeah. 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 Baker and chocolate dude, that's cake. awesome. Thank you so much. Dude. That is so cool. Dude, that looks so fucking good. Thank you so Thank much. You. Yeah. Thank oh my you. god. Is it cool if I get a picture for you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Is it cool? I'm shooting this video. I can record and no. do this and all that. Okay. I just want to make sure you're, uh. you're good with it because we have a lot of different opinions on that here. You know. <laughs> All right, guys, what did I say? Best booth at the con, as always. Yeah, every We've won the award every year, and we're gonna win it again. All right. Thanks, man. Dude, this rules. Got him? Awesome. Oh, yes. Thank you awesome. So much Thank you so much for that. Thank you. That, Thank you. Dude. Breakfast of Champions right yeah, there. I have eaten yet, but he's breakfast. Yeah, it was great. For dinner, I had, uh, for dinner, I had uh, Alamo Draft House pizza and a shake. And today, breakfast, hot fudge. Oh, wait, you got the potatoes? Yeah, I'm, I'm opening up. I'm getting some potatoes going. They told me, I went to that booth. They had so many microwaves in the back. And I was like, damn, so many microwaves. And they literally said, come back in 10 minutes. Come back. Oh, really? They were going to run them all for me. So we may have to go back. Anyway, all right, there it is, guys. You you got it. You just got a tour of packs before it opens. Good stuff. Oh, I was gonna say real quick, this wasn't there yesterday. This uh, whoops, I'm trying to zoom in on it. This wasn't there. Uh, this tank they have the uh, Sandland, the Sandland tank wasn't there. So I wonder what happened. That just materialized overnight. Um, by the way, what's going on with Sandland? I know at Comic-Con they showed there was a movie. You know, rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. I love Sandland. That was, the, that manga was really, really cool. Um, but what, it was a movie and that now I'm hearing it's a show? I knew the game was coming out. I, I'm, I'm well versed in that. And I got my, I got my SH Figuarts Beelzebub on the way from Japan, but is that a show now? I don't know. You guys tell me. I don't know. Is it a show now or is it a show nin? <laughs> anyway. All right, we got these. Anyway, I, I meant to end this a minute ago. I'm going to end it now. Oh, dude. Dude, Resident Evil. Who played? Do you play Resident Evil? No. What? It looks like you're going to like be in a, like buy a ball pit. What? You're, like Rocco you're filming me? Yeah. Without asking? Can I film you? Fuck you. <laughs> 